In today's digital world, we all want our phones to be fortresses, right? We want to believe that our personal photos, banking info, and private conversations are locked down, safe from prying eyes. And you've probably heard claims, or even thought to yourself, my phone is totally unhackable. But here's a crucial truth that's often misunderstood, a reality that tech companies might not shout from the rooftops. No phone is 100% unhackable. It's a tough pill to swallow, but chasing unhackable is like trying to build a completely leak-proof boat. Eventually, under enough pressure or with enough time, a tiny leak might appear. The goal isn't absolute perfection, because that doesn't exist in the world of cybersecurity. Instead, it's about making your phone so secure that it becomes an incredibly difficult, time-consuming, and expensive target for attackers. It's about minimizing the risk to a negligible level for the vast majority of us. So, if you're ready to ditch the myth and embrace a realistic, powerful approach to mobile security, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll demystify phone security, show you where the real dangers lie, and equip you with practical, effective strategies to protect your digital life. Let's get started. Before we dive into solutions, let's understand the landscape. Where are the weak spots? How do hackers typically try to get into your digital life through your phone? Think of your phone as your digital home. Hackers aren't always breaking down the front door. Sometimes they're looking for an open window, an unlocked back gate, or even tricking you into inviting them in. Common entry points for attackers include malicious software. This is the most direct route. It could be malware disguised as a legitimate app or hidden in a seemingly harmless file you download. Once installed, it can steal data, spy on you, or even take control of your device. Phishing attacks. You get a convincing text or email that looks like it's from your bank, Apple, Google, or a shipping company. It tricks you into clicking a link, which then tries to steal your login credentials or install malware. It's about tricking you, not necessarily the phone itself. Unsecured networks. Connecting to public Wi-Fi without knowing who else is on that network or without proper encryption like a VPN can expose your data to snoopers. Weak credentials and physical access. A simple, easily guessed password or leaving your phone unlocked and unattended can be all a determined attacker needs. Don't underestimate the power of direct physical access. And sadly, many of us unknowingly make common mistakes that compromise our own security. Don't worry, we've all been there. Using weak, reused passwords. This is like using the same flimsy lock on your front door, your car, and your safe deposit box. If one is picked, everything's exposed. Ignoring software updates. Those annoying, update now. Notifications often contain critical security patches. Ignoring them leaves known vulnerabilities wide open. Granting excessive app permissions. Tapping allow on every permission request without thinking. Does that flashlight app really need access to your microphone or contacts? Probably not. Downloading apps from unofficial sources. Sideloading apps from outside official app stores, like Google Play or Apple App Store, is a huge gamble, as these apps aren't vetted for security. Leaving your phone unlocked and unattended. Even for a few minutes, someone can quickly access sensitive information or install malicious software. So, what are the basic foundations of good phone security? It really boils down to three core principles. One, lock it down, use strong passcodes, fingerprints, and facial recognition. Two, stay updated. Always install those OS and app updates. Three, be aware, think before you tap, download, or connect. These are your absolute first line of defense. Now, let's talk about the practical steps you can take to build that formidable digital fortress around your phone. These aren't just good ideas, they are foundational security practices. First, password power-up and two-factor authentication, 2FA. Strong passwords for your phone and accounts, your phone's unlock method, passcode, face ID, touch ID, is your first barrier. Use a long, complex passcode, alphanumeric is best. And for all your online accounts, email, banking, social media, use unique, strong passwords. A password manager is your best friend here. It generates and stores these complex passwords for you, so you don't have to remember them. Enable two-factor authentication, 2FA, everywhere. 
This is critically important. 2FA adds a second layer of security, requiring not just your password, but also something only you have, like a code from an authenticator app, e.g. Google Authenticator, Authy, a security key, like a YubiKey, or a code sent to a trusted device. Even if a hacker gets your password, they can't log in without that second factor. Prioritize setting up two-factor authentication on your email, banking, and social media accounts immediately. Two, keep your software updated, your digital shield. Update your phone's operating system. OS updates, iOS, Android, frequently include critical security patches that fix vulnerabilities hackers could exploit. Install them as soon as they're available. Don't put it off. Update your apps. Similarly, keep all your apps updated. App developers constantly release updates that include security fixes and improvements. Enable automatic updates in your app store settings to ensure you're always running the latest, most secure versions. Browser updates. Your web browser is often your gateway to the internet. Keep it updated too, as browser updates often include protections against malicious websites and phishing attempts. 3. Be picky with apps and permissions, your digital gatekeeper. Download apps only from official stores. This is a golden rule. Stick to the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. These platforms have vetting processes that significantly reduce the risk of downloading malware. Avoid sideloading apps from random websites or third-party app stores as they bypass these security checks. Review app permissions. Critically, when an app asks for permission to access your location, microphone, camera, contacts, or storage, stop and think. Does this app really need that access to function? A photo editor needs access to your photos, but does it need your microphone? If a permission request seems excessive or irrelevant, deny it. You can always adjust permissions later in your phone settings if an app genuinely needs it. Delete unused apps. Clutter isn't just annoying, it's a security risk. Every app is a potential entry point. If you haven't used an app in months, delete it. It reduces your digital attack surface and improves performance. If you want to take your phone security to the next level, beyond the essential basics, consider these advanced techniques. Think of these as adding extra layers of reinforced steel to your digital fort. 1. Utilize security apps and tools. Reputable mobile antivirus or security apps. For Android users especially, a good mobile security app, like Malwarebytes, Norton 360, or Bitdefender, can provide an extra layer of defense by scanning for malware, phishing attempts, and risky apps. For iPhone users, while traditional antivirus isn't common due to Apple's walled garden, apps that focus on VPN, password management, and identity theft protection are still highly valuable. Virtual Private Networks VPNs A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, routing it through a secure server. This is especially crucial when using public Wi-Fi, where your data could be easily intercepted by snoopers. A good VPN adds a strong layer of privacy and security to your online activity. Password Managers Again, we mentioned them, but they're so powerful they deserve another shout-out. They don't just store passwords, they help you generate strong, unique ones, greatly reducing your risk across all online accounts. 2. Ensure your data is encrypted. Full Disk Encryption Modern smartphones, both iPhones and Androids, typically come with full disk encryption enabled by default. This means all the data on your device is scrambled and unreadable without your passcode. Crucially, never disable this, and always use a strong passcode. A weak one makes encryption almost useless. Cloud Backup Encryption If you use iCloud or Google Drive for backups, ensure those backups are also encrypted and protected with strong passwords and 2FA. Your data is only as secure as its weakest link. End-to-end -end encrypted messaging. For sensitive conversations, use messaging apps that offer true end-to-end -end encryption, like Signal or WhatsApp where correctly configured. This ensures only the sender and receiver can read the messages. 3. Monitor your phone's activity like a detective. Check battery and data usage. Periodically review your phone's battery and data usage statistics in your settings. If an app you rarely use is suddenly draining a lot of battery or consuming abnormal amounts of data in the background, it could be a sign of hidden, malicious activity. Watch for strange behavior. Does your phone suddenly slow down, get unusually hot, or show weird pop-ups? 
Are there calls or texts in your history that you didn't make? Are apps crashing more often? These can be indicators that something is wrong. Trust your gut. If something feels off, investigate it. Review financial statements. Regularly check your bank and credit card statements for any unauthorized or unfamiliar charges. Catching small, fraudulent transactions early can prevent bigger financial headaches. Let's be crystal clear about the ultimate reality. No phone, no computer, no digital system is 100% unhackable. This isn't a flaw. It's the nature of constantly evolving technology and the relentless pursuit of those who wish to exploit it. Highly funded, state-sponsored attackers, for example, will often find zero-day exploits, vulnerabilities unknown to even the phone manufacturers themselves. But here's why that shouldn't make you feel helpless. Your goal isn't to be absolutely impenetrable. Your goal is to be a difficult, expensive, and frustrating target. Most cybercriminals are looking for easy wins. If your phone is locked down with strong passwords, two-factor authentication, updated software, and smart app permissions. You've just made their job infinitely harder. They'll likely move on to an easier target. This brings us to the importance of ongoing vigilance. Security isn't a one-time setup. It's a continuous process. Stay informed about the latest threats, review your settings regularly, and pay attention to how your phone behaves. And finally, remember that it's about balancing security with usability. You want to protect yourself, but you also need to use your phone. Find a comfortable equilibrium between airtight security and practical convenience that fits your digital lifestyle. By understanding these truths and implementing the steps we've discussed, you're not just enhancing your phone's security. You're taking control of your entire digital life. You're building a fortress that's incredibly difficult to breach. And that, my friends, is true empowerment in the digital age. Stay vigilant, stay smart, and stay empowered. What's the first security setting you'll check on your phone today? Need to strengthen your defenses against cyber threats? We're here to help. Request a demo or consultation of our expert AI agents and cybersecurity applications so we can show you how Telerus works in real time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Stay safe. Stay sharp. See you in the next one.